Below in the deep there's adventure and danger. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. The Baron shows his evil smile as we await the outcome of the trial. Now Horace the judge must make his decree. Should the Baron be jailed or should he go free? <laughs> you think the great Baron Barracuda can be provoked by this nonsense? I shall remember all of this and all of you. Revenge will be sweet. Baron, you have done many evil things. But your greatest crime was frightening helpless little Goldie. Well, he will not frighten her anymore. Now, if he only had the Baron's henchfish trigger. <laughs> we'll get him in time. Right now, let's take care of the Baron. Has Horace reached a verdict? Here he is now. What for the verdict be? So, Miss Minerva, I have reached a verdict. Yes? 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 Yeah. I find the defendant, uh, Baron Barracuda, guilty. Hurrah! Hey, hey! Oh, boy! Ray! Oh, wonderful! Hey, I'm proud of you, matey. It was nothing, really. I saw my duty, and as a public-spirited fish, I did it. Now, Finley, you can give the pearl to Diver Dan to show his captain. Why don't you present it to him, Minerva? Now that the trial is over, Dan can come here and meet you. No, no, no. Take the pearl to him and give him this as a token of my gratitude for all that he has done for us. Anything you say, Miss Minerva. I'll be back soon. Yeah, Horace and I'll come with you, Finley. Diver Dan may just follow Finley back here to see me. I'll leave right now. Oh, but first, uh, let us decide what to do with the Baron. He should be put in jail. I'll build a jail for him. Me help him, you. Finley, what was the verdict? Mm -hmm. The, uh, the Baron's been found guilty. They're, they're putting him in jail, Dan. And Miss Minerva says you can have the pearl now. She also wants to give you this. It's a shell necklace as a gift for all you've done for us. That's very kind of her. I wish I could meet her. Oh, Finley, about the pearl. You can give it back to Ozzy. You mean the captain doesn't want it? Oh, I never had a chance to tell him about it. You remember the picture I took of Horace? I hope I didn't break your camera. <laughs> well, here it is. Gee, looks just like you, Horace. Well, it makes me look a bit fat, don't you think? The important thing is, the captain took one look at the picture and really got excited. Why? Horace is an extinct fish. I'm not extinct. I'm Horace. Sure don't look extinct to me. Salad is a coral reef, this one. What is all this extinct business anyway? And he's right here. What is all this extinct business about? When I took this picture up to the ship, and it was developed and processed, our scientist on board took a good look at it. Yes, and? Yeah, he told me too. Our scientist is Dr. Emil Harpoon, whose specialty is prehistoric ichthyology. He come again? He's a famous authority on fish of long ago. And he says that this fish was thought to have been extinct, to have disappeared. No fish such as this has been seen for hundreds of years. I've been down here all the time. Since Horace is such a rare species, he's worth more to the scientific world than any gold or pearls. Hey, I smell something fishy. Will Rit Diver Dan explain, Horace? I've been assigned to find this fish and to take him to the ship so that we can take him to an aquarium for all the world to see. So now the problem is, will Horace go along with you or not? You'll be famous, Horace. Oh, my. 
First the judge, and next minute a celebrity. You better take your time thinking it over, matey. And say, while you're thinking it over, aren't you afraid the Baron might escape again? Perhaps we should get over there right now. Well, don't worry about the Baron. <laughs> the Sea Scout is keeping a sharp eye on him. Alone? Just the Sea Scout? Oh, afraid so. Hey, only that dopey Sea Scout on guard. <laughs> Now's my chance. While they're gabbing about Harvard, maybe I can rescue the boy. Hey, what have you decided, matey? You gonna go up with this uh, diving feller? It's your decision. This is a free ocean, you know. Decision to decision. I never faced so many decisions in all my life. Once again, Horace must make up his mind. Should he go up with Dan or remain behind? It's a problem for Horace and for diver Dan, too. If Horace says no, what will Dan do? He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing, he's flashing, jaws flapping, been snapping claws. He protects and he stays his friends under the wave. That's where you'll find Iver Dan.